meter of the rainbow set. It's good plan to hear. But I'll need help. over here. with this.
guide me. Perfect, Ava. You really are a generous one. Their rival. I wonder if Volker is among them.
Nothing else for you today. I have to go. See you soon. Farewell, Abel. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And... Your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Valka, I see. What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they've always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like 
Memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but I feel mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And... welcome home. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home? I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions. ...to see them more clearly. Got some new things in. I would like to see what you have in stock. All done? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next time. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it.
Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Of course, I will need a place to store my collection. I will build you something when I can. Have patience. Can you remind me what you do here? If you find any Roman artifacts out there in the world, bring them here. I'll appraise them and see they're given a good home. With me. I'm off. Be well, friend. Valley, Eivor! I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds.
prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Fate governs all humankind. But I am the defier of death. I am not bound by these forces. All threads are measured. Everything dies. Even ancient Ymir, whose fertile carcass gave birth to the Nine Worlds. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? Just about this land, my friend. It's a strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of... Who is false? 
We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence, all of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Freya, Queen of Asgard. Will you fight at my side? I'm with you, Havi. Let the Bifrost shimmer with the blood of their dead. The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Come, Havi. Tonight we drink and swive. But now's the hour we prove our might. You got the Great Hall! With me, I gift this battle to myself! Blood for Ascon! Say hello to Jordmungandha! Kill the Asher! Burn the doors!
will fall! Not while I stand. Wait, no, you're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your song be the same if the Jotna had won this fight? Yes, of course, of course. Are you calling me a fight? found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. <coughs> <laughs> what is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder, by most. He wants your name, not your trade. 
if I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Do you come from Jotunheim? I do. Or I did. That is to say, I passed through. But I am not of that place, which pleases me well, for I hated it. Had you any dealings there? As a builder, yes. For a time. But they took a dislike to my methods, which are, shall I say, magical in nature. Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Hywan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? And what do you want in exchange for the shield, other than your freedom? I must give that a thought, a very deep thought. It would not be a simple task. And I do have my reputation to consider. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic. A source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the Builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. See you, old friend.
Go, Zulin. the day you were seized with lust for my perfect legs. Go back to your frigid mountains. Mjola, your drunken laments ripple through Asgard. What has brought you to this state? I have a beautiful <clears throat> beach home in Neutun. The most perfect place in all all Asgard. But is it enough to make Skadi happy? <laughs> no. She wants us to freeze up in the fucking mountains. She is Jotun. You should have known this before you married her. She chose me. Can I help it that I have such beautiful feet? You cannot keep this up. Your wailing will summon a sea storm. I care not. I have mead enough to keep me warm till... till Dilskadi and her clan return to their frigid homeland. Maybe they will, but not before plundering the vast riches from your beautiful home. I had not thought of that. By Emir's balls, I must return to shore! Bring me a boat! I still have my pride. I refuse to swim like a fish. Fisher, fisherman! Bring me a boat! Go, my eyes. Scotty! Scotty! Her heart is as cold as her mountain peaks. Having a Jotun for a wife cannot be easy. The only time she ever really smiled was when that goat nearly ripped Loki's balls off. I remember thinking, that one is cruel. And magnificent! But the pleasure was not worth the pain. And now I have her whole, whole cursed clan to deal with. I know a room that will dull the edges of their weapons. Only if it will blunt her tongue. Find peace, noble Njorda. A bad match can be troublesome, but not worse than having nothing to love. My home at Noatun will bring me pleasure enough. But what about you, wily one? What do you...
a look soon at Soonin.
to get on the other side. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
This place is heavily guarded. <laughs> Sunstone has been moved. The light's pass is shifted. Harvey, Loki said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Harvey? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? I have known you, Tyr, longer than any in Asgard. And I trust you as a brother, but my present worries I cannot share. 
I understand. The burden of kingship must often be shouldered alone. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me, to challenge me, to pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will, as long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. What if an invader was trying to weaken the well's defenses? Are we meant to intervene? The integrity of this sacred place must be preserved. But whether we be a bane or a boon remains to be seen. There are two targets the light must strike, but only one stream. How do two farms share one source of water? By splitting the stream. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once or twice, the light has found its mark, the stone is lit. I doubt the Nornir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence. is open to us. I will lead. Here. I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Javi. Has your mind fled you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. My mind is my own, dear. But you pose a curious thought. Could one mind usurp another's? The hygge of one in the body of someone else. Are you drunk on these waters? Take your flask, forget the wolf, and let us be gone before the Nornir weave us a pair of shackles. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further down.
Loki. to the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for? I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful, calm, quiet? What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cup with us, trespassing on sacred ground. But Tyr took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? The wolf lives. But Tyr will cage the beast at his hall. I want no free wolves in Asgard. Ah, yes. Good. A wise decision, Harvey. I wanted to kill it, but Tyr stayed my hand. Tyr is pragmatic. And it serves him well. You should heed him more often. Now tell me plainly, where is the Builder? In a meadow, not far from here. Your raven may find the way. Survey the area, Sunan. found the perfect spot. Did you bring the water? As promised. Wonderful. As it blends with my paint, its magic will power the runes of protection that I hear inscribe. No rune will protect you from my wrath if I catch you playing games. A perfect mix. Wait, what are you doing? Harnessing Hooker magic to bind my spirit to these enchantments. It amplifies the strength. Hooker magic? You learned this from the Jotnar? They practice a form of Hooker magic, but this is my own technique. And it's just about done. Could you lend a hand and bring me a few jars of paint? As many as you can. Thank <laughs> you. 